God instructs today to pray for the mysteries of heaven. Intend to engage in speaking in tongues more frequently. Strive to pray in tongues as the Apostle Paul did. Consistently pray in all situations and circumstances, both spiritually and intellectually. Upon your commitment to pray in tongues, I shall compel you into the deliberations of the earth's influencers. You will articulate mysteries, and revelations will emerge from your mouth without prior contemplation. Individuals will inquire about the origin of your wisdom, to which you will respond, I conferred not with flesh and blood, as you articulate insights derived from divine inspiration and shared knowledge with your students. This is what I meant when I stated that the Spirit would arrive to instruct you in all matters. You will both instruct and receive instruction simultaneously, as it is not you who speaks, but the Father. This is the opportunity for advancement, states the Father. To replace the dominance of your brain and innate reasoning with my mindset, which is prepared to assume control and guide you to your position of blessing. Traverse beneath the expanse of my brilliance, accessible to everyone who derives immense joy from dwelling in my presence. The Father asserts that his presence not only enhances your emotions but also expands your intellect. A mind enlightened by my grandeur would surprise all people in your vicinity. They will inquire about your schooling, however, the focus is not on your academic background, but rather on my glory. Your share is my honor. My glory unveils all truths. My splendor is amplifying within you accelerating your advancement into a realm of promotion and blessings that is beyond all your anticipations. God instructs today to cleanse yourself as I am pure. The factors that have compromised your testimony are within your control. The affliction of godlessness is a poison that persistently aims to corrupt your connection with me. You have the autonomy to reject and eliminate all burdens and sins from your life, as I have empowered you to do so. The phrase, Be holy for I am holy, inherently encompasses the grace necessary for you to accomplish the demand. This aligns with scripture and the personal design I have devised for your life. You will select this path in life as you resolve to claim the rewards I have assured you in this life and the next, declares the Father. Consequently, pursue all that I have prepared for you, declares the Father. Purify your mind from the insinuations and suggestions of the adversary who fears that if he fails to entice you, you will ultimately conquer him on all fronts. Provide only opposition to the devil. The prince of this realm, upon his arrival, will discover nothing within you that serves to further his scheme to inflict harm upon you. Bear in mind that one cannot love a devil, nor can one deal with a devil. Your willingness to compromise serves merely as the initial stage of the adversary's intent to consume you voraciously. Negotiation is futile with a demon or anyone swayed by demonic ideation. Simply continue to comply with my directives. Persist in embodying love. All your days are inscribed in my book and none fall outside the realm of triumph. You are not merely a conqueror, you surpass that designation. I am with you and will never abandon you as you pursue alignment with all that I have intended for you today, declares the Father. God proclaims today, 
My salvation for you is not merely mercy, but it constitutes an exceedingly great salvation. I provide to you an invitation today to transcend the sixty-fold and thirty-fold and to enter into the one hundred-fold plenty of all that I have ordained for you. Some are content with superficial encounters with me. Some pursue sixty-fold realities, and others seek nothing short of the all in all that I, the Father, offer. Understand this. When you persist in pursuing what I offer, I will reward you for fully embracing the essence of my kingdom. As you dedicate your time and devote your life to a libation, rewards will ensue. As I previously stated, I am arriving, and my recompense is with me. The Father asserts that the expectation of remuneration is not erroneous. The expectation of remuneration and reward in my kingdom is inherent in the gospel. The Father instructs us to come with expectation. Seek and discover. Inquire and persist in your inquiries. Inquire not solely via your words, but allow your acts and your boldness to believe and persist. Let your deeds invoke my sovereignty. Expand the boundaries of what is feasible and accessible within me. I take pleasure in your defiance of personal traditions as you embark on an adventure with me, revealing the extent and fullness of the glory bestowed upon me by my Father Vayu. Recall, the Father states, that the utmost recompense is not the subjugation of devils to you. The ultimate reward is to be drawn close to my throne and experience heightened proximity to the right hand of the Supreme Authority. I extend to you an opportunity for closer communion with my presence today. It is integral to my purpose and accessible to you when you relinquish all aspects of your life in devotion and dedication to my name. Before the video continues, please like the video, share it with your family and write Amen in comment. God proclaims today that He is imparting an enhancement of spiritual perception and auditory discernment in your life through the Holy Spirit. I am propelling myself into your existence so that you may perceive, comprehend, and recognize the gifts, talents, and anointings of individuals in your vicinity. The long-awaited revelatory gifts and blessings in your life are being imparted to you at this moment, declares the Father. The paradox you have experienced, being aware of revelations regarding your circumstances and those of others while serving in obscurity, is concluding. You are emerging from obscurity into a prominent role of utility and efficacy inside my empire. The Father asserts, you will observe, and you will be observed. My innate abilities are challenging constraints and limitations, positioning you in the presence of influential individuals and pioneers. Your gift and contribution will no longer be trivialized or dismissed. Prepare yourself, declares the Father, for the imminent realization of the open door, enabling you to serve me to your fullest potential in the vocation to which I have appointed you. The Father asserts that you will manage this since you have chosen humility as your initial reaction to both acceptance and rejection. Henceforth, rejection shall not harm you, nor shall acceptance entice you. The Father asserts, I can trust you because you have grounded your self-identity in my presence in your life rather than in any other entity. This embodies the essence of what I am introducing into your life. This is the impending change. You are no longer a juvenile, unable to provide a mature reaction to your surroundings. 
The oil that flowed over Aaron's head and descended upon his beard signifies a maturity that extends to you, enabling you to collaborate with necessary partners without making any errors that could jeopardize the unity of my spirit. Today, the Father proclaims that you are integral to the resolution, through my spirit, of the corruption that has impeded my people. Henceforth, the signet ring of my favor will grant you access to what has been closed and elevate you to the exalted realms of the earth. Today, God declares that he will lead you to realms beyond the capacity of your brain. The ordinary individual and the unrefined intellect are incapable of understanding my actions in your life. Acquire the ability to abandon rationalistic modes of thought. Learn to unequivocally affirm me, even in the absence of comprehension of my actions or the direction in which I am guiding you. Within you, there will perpetually reside the answer to serenity, even while your intellect protests like a petulant kid. The natural man's intellect seeks control and dominance, yet I have granted your human spirit supremacy in all matters. Your spirit comprehends the affirmative of heaven, even when your mind perceives only postponement, rejection, and decline. The Father declares, allow your mind to be the primary sanctuary within you, and all will be unveiled, enabling you to advance into the season of acceleration I have designated for you. I urge you to surrender and let the current of the river of life carry you into the depths of my benevolence. Your innate mind will remain on the shore, lamenting and stirring up the dust of many demands, yet the vessel of my blessings and the flow of my benevolence will never be grasped by the old self of reason, intellect, and corporeality. Flavor Experience and perceive proclaims the Father, all the blessings I have for you when you relinquish control and entrust yourself to God. I will illuminate your obscured vision and enable you to perceive the finest of my offerings. You will no longer consume the remnants of arid, dogmatic interpretations. The Rima of my truth will transform into the banqueting table from which you will daily participate, as you witness the fulfillment of all my promises in your circumstances. God declares today, I am establishing a boundary. A boundary has been set in your life, and the proclamation against the adversary of your spirit is that will be sufficient. Sufficient hardship. Cease the deficiency. Cease to linger in the confines of disappointment and decline. I am revitalizing your hope today. The Father proclaims, be revitalized in your aspirations and anticipations. I am bestowing hope, renewed ambition, and fresh aspirations upon you, as proclaimed by the Father in His promise. I am nurturing your ambitions and empowering your aspirations. What was once a simple desire is becoming a tangible entity that you will possess and utilize to its fullest potential. I am elevating you by my spirit. I am instilling in you today a sense of energy and vitality via my favor and benevolence. The acquired possession of renewed optimism and vitality is yours, thus, celebrate. Depart and serve as my envoy to those in distress. Convey a message of optimism. What you embrace through faith, I am manifesting in your life. Go forth and declare to the imprisoned and those in obscurity. You are my envoy of optimism and goodwill. You are not merely a recipient of hope, but also a conduit of hope, the Father asserts, to those who would otherwise be despondent. All that is detrimental and opposing is coming to a conclusion, 
and the favorable year of the Lord is being instituted in your life. All that is detrimental to the opponent is being dismantled. I am binding you to the easy yoke and lightweight. You will taste and experience my magnificence and splendor. The Father declares that you will serve as a testator, a testament to what I have pledged, inspiring belief, faith, and confidence in me through the manifestations of my actions in your life. Before the video continues, I request you to comment Amen and please help me by doing super thanks. Your support means a lot to us. Today, God advises you to transcend the judgments of others. Should you intend to spend your days before my throne, you will encounter resistance. If you resolve to live by the calling I have bestowed upon you, there will be relentless examination. Irrespective of your decisions, when my kingdom governs all options, you will be subjected to the scrutiny of others. They will observe for your feet to falter. They will await a time of vulnerability to validate their perceptions of you. Do not grant them the gratification of your concern for their subsequent actions. Place your confidence in me. Anticipate a continual upward trajectory in your life. Be assured that I will ensure all your actions result in blessings and advantages. Understand that my grace envelopes you like a protective barrier. The anticipations of your critics will be rendered futile. You will emerge in triumph, and your life will be safeguarded in my grasp. Attach yourself to the manageable yoke and the light burden. Do not acquiesce to the erroneous weight of male assessments. Heed my voice, then articulate and act, assured that my guidance will invariably yield results in your life. My commitment is unwavering and the route is evident. You will hear my voice instructing you, saying, this is the path. Walk in it, you shall comply and adhere, and you will invariably discover it aligns with my assurances. Do not permit the past to be referenced in your life. Refrain from looking back. Do not dwell on the past, instead, focus on the future. How many confirmations are required before you embark into the seas of all that I have pledged? This is your moment. This is your opportunity. Adhere to the celestial vision. Do not allow yourself to be influenced by the erroneous viewpoints through which others evaluate your subsequent actions. Be a paternal appeaser. Join the Jesus generation that understands the experience of walking on water and receiving God's startling blessings as their inheritance. Today, God declares that your righteousness originates from me. The blood of Christ has been imparted to your being. I am advocating for you due to my intrinsic connection to your essence. It is not concerned with earning. It is unnecessary to meet a standard of adequacy to receive a response. I embody your righteousness. I am your privilege. You are deserving of the highest blessings because I reside within you. You need not achieve correctness before I act on your behalf. Simply relax into repose and have faith. I will even utilize your errors to thrive. I am the deity that enables your expansion to the right and the left. You belong to a new generation. A generation of followers of Jesus will reveal my greatness and experience my goodness in a manner unprecedented on earth, declares your Father. I am uniting the generations. 
I am uniting the aspirations of the elderly with the enthusiasm of the youth to establish a luminous nation of sovereigns and clergy dedicated to me. Now is your share, and now is your time. You will no longer reflect on the past. You will anticipate with gratitude that all obstacles are eliminated and the path is unobstructed. Extend your hand and your heart to generously bestow your affection upon the unlovable. Replicate the actions I have undertaken for you by extending the same to others. Proclaim liberation to the imprisoned and expansion to the destitute. I stated in my word that I would provide redeemers, deliverers from Zion. You belong to that company. You belong to the Zion company that will restore the desolate areas and re-establish a city that will bring glory to the earth, indeed, glory to my name, declares your God. God proclaims today that the entirety of the earth belongs to him, proceed to assert your claim. I am not concealing anything from you. Wherever you place your foot, I have granted you the ownership deed. There is no necessity to exert oneself or to worry about the future. All of your future days are in my competent control. I have previously prepared for every deficiency in your life. I refer to you as the provisioned. I proclaim that you are replete with the entirety of my all in all. Therefore, do not restrain yourself. There is no need to be anxious about this requirement or that requirement. Everything is supplied. By presenting you with the gift of my Son, I unreservedly bestowed upon you all things. Engage today with the completed work that is found in Christ. Articulate your requirements. Channel the forces of anxiety and fear toward my objectives through prayer. May every prayer and every type of petition commence in your life. Allow your mouth to engage in prayer. Call out to me. Invoke me at times of distress, and I shall respond promptly. There is no refutation. There is no postponement. Every promise is affirmed and assured because you are in him, who occupies the throne. Embrace the affirmative provisions I have bestowed upon you, declares the Father. Engage in profound favor that unlocks multiple opportunities. Take solace in the understanding that while the adversary exerts their utmost efforts, I shall exert mine best. You prevail in every circumstance because I am in power. The right hand of majesty is steadfast, so, you, my beloved, are assured in all matters.